Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be running through the Razer Ernata V3X software. We're gonna run through the shortcuts, the lighting effects, and all of the features it has to offer. All right, so this is the screen that you'll be greeted with after you install the Razer Synapsis software. Once you have your keyboard plugged in, it should show up. If it doesn't, you may have to update the software and typically it'll update on its own in the background. But once it detects, you just click on your keyboard and you can see that we have the customization menu right here. So quickly running through the layout. Up top here, you have your profile. Here's profile one. If you wanna add another one, you just click add and it generates a random name. You can add it, select it right there. Now you have a second profile. If you wanna rename it, you can do that by doing, clicking the rename button and now you have two profiles. If you wanna duplicate a profile and do some slight adjustments, that's how you do it here. Exporting if you have it from another computer. And then if you wanna completely reset or delete, the options are right there. Now scrolling down here, we have gaming mode. If we do always on, basically what that does is disable the windows button. So you don't accidentally have this big menu popping up in the middle of your game. The next option is gonna be enable in game. So what this does is the same thing. It disables the windows keys, but it also disables the alt tab plus alt four keys, which is also common shortcuts that people use that may accidentally kick them out of their game. Now, jumping over into the lighting settings here, we can adjust the brightness of our keyboard by using this bar here to do it on the software, or you can just use the dedicated buttons on the keyboard. You can have the keyboard, you can have the keyboard automatically go to sleep when you click display is turned off, or you can have it set on a timer to auto turn off after say 15 minutes or whatever time you set it to. And when I say turn off, I mean the lights turn off, not the keyboard. The keyboard is always gonna be on as long as your computer is on. Now on the right here, we have effects. If I click on this drop down menu, if I set it to audio meter, this will adjust the keyboard lighting based on the audio that's playing. So if you're listening to music, the lights are gonna react to the music, or if you're playing a game, it'll react to the game. And then the color boost just shows how sensitive you want it to be to the audio. And then if we click the drop down, click breathing, this is gonna be just a breathing pattern. You you can make it glow from green to blue and you can see that the keyboard is glowing green and then it's going to switch over to blue or you can turn on this random color mode which toggles different colors all the time and it's gonna be no rhyme or reason, it's just random all the time. The next option is spectrum cycling and basically what this is gonna do is cycle between all of the colors on the color wheel and just go through them all on loop. And then static is if you just want one color to be active all of the time. And you can either select any of these preset colors that Razer software comes with or you can create your own using the color wheel here. Now going back into the customization settings, now we can actually tweak how some of the shortcuts work. So if I click the letter S here, for example, you're gonna see all of the possible customizations you can apply to this key. And just for the record, all of the keys can be customized, every single one. So we're just gonna demo the letter S and you can do any of these things to any key on the keyboard. So let's start with keyboard function. This basically just remaps what the S key does. So if you want S to be the letter G, you just click G and then you can click save and now S will act like the letter G. Turbo mode is how many times do you want it to click when you're holding the key. So if I hold the letter S, G will get spammed seven times. That's the key recordings what else you can do is alphameric which basically selects a to z as well as all of the numbers you can select it to do any of the function keys which is f1 to f24 you can do the number pad buttons you can also do navigation your how you typically navigate on a keyboard escape up down left right you can also do modifiers which is buttons like control shift alt and those types of keys and then symbols are the random symbols on your keyboard now if we move over to mouse function this is essentially the same thing except these are all of the mouse controls and here are the customizable mouse controls you can have. Now, inner device is basically if you have two Razer products, they can both kind of talk to each other and you can say like shift plus click and then that'll activate a custom shortcut with two different Razer products in the software. Switch profile is gonna be if you have multiple profiles like up here, if you're on profile one, you can say next profile and then if you click S, it'll go to the next profile. Switch lighting is basically if you have some of the other Razer products that are compatible with Chroma Studio, you can make them talk to each other and do different lighting effects all from the keyboard. Hyper shift is basically similar to shift modifier keys except you have your keyboard in hyper shift mode, which if you click this, this is the hyper shift view and this is 
the standard view. Now launch program is going to be fairly straightforward. You can launch a specific app on your desktop. You just navigate to it and when you push the hotkey it's going to open that application up and alternatively you can also launch a website. Just paste the URL in there and then you can launch it with a click of a button. Multimedia is going to be similar to keyboard functions except you can select things like volume up, volume down, mute, media controls. Windows shortcuts are going to be some of the more common Windows apps that exist and that's going to be things like copy paste. There's also calculator, Microsoft Paint, Notepad, just some of those more common things. And then text function is you can type in a string of text. So you can say like, hello everyone. I'm Kova Tech. And then if I save that and press the letter S, it's gonna write this text out. And then I can go ahead and just send that message out all the time. And then the final button is disable. And this is if you wanna completely disable the key and you can see it turns red when it's disabled. If you want to re-enable it, just click the default or any of the buttons on the side here. So that concludes the software run through with the Razer Ornata V3X. If you wanna see a full review of this keyboard, I'm gonna leave a link to that right here. So be sure to click on that if you wanna see the specs and details about the hardware side of the keyboard. And if you've gotten value out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.